Hello, all you beautiful people. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> I'm using um, this new ring light that I just got. Um, I've been getting some jobs um, that have like that are required, like just videos kind of like this. And um, the lighting just kept kind of being off, you know. And we have lots of lights in here, but they just wasn't good. So I came across this. Watch, I can like up it. We don't want regular because then you'll know that I'm not wearing any hair and makeup. Anyway, so the whole point of this <laughs> this video is um, I had a friend say that he really missed my, um, my video blog that I used to do. Um, so I thought, hey, it's Sunday. I'm not doing anything. Kind of bored. Let me make a video. So I just wanted to give you a little... Um, insight maybe that's the word I don't know this is what I'm doing on my Sunday in the afternoon I'm cleaning my Keurig oh yes so if you're not sure how to clean a Keurig I learned this from my mom and dad um, you get white vinegar and um, you know I would clean the inside of your Keurig with a wet paper towel don't put any chemicals inside of your your Keurig um, remove the pod and then um, put white vinegar in your, wherever your water is. M mine's a one cupper, cause it's just for me. Um, but some of you might have like the, the cup on the side that you fill the water to. So you'll fill it with water, um, excuse me, white vinegar, and then you'll run it through. Um, so I put white vinegar in this part and I did it. And now I'm on number five of water. So what you're gonna do is continue to run the water through until it no longer smells like vinegar and then you're ready to go it should improve the taste of your coffee and it's good to do like every three months that way um, your coffee tastes excellent and you're not sticking anything gross into your body that's it that's all I got for you today um, maybe I'll do another video soon Who knows? stay tuned